at dawn. What was that he ate? It was master flesh. Eating it will reverse the curse and rid her of that mark on her back. Okay, this is where we're gonna get into like many like, different things here, but first, like, hey everybody, Klaus here, welcome back from more or less play Pandora's Tower, the last episode. We defeated the master of Treetop Tower, the Hate Cyclops, which is not a Cyclops. I think we battled had two eyes, let's be real here. Anyway, um this time I have a guest with me. If you could introduce yourself. Hello everyone, I'm Golden Tails Geek. You might have heard of me. If not, well, check out my stuff. I LP nin mostly Nintendo stuff, but I also do point and click adventure games and all that jazz, you know. And I also do first impressions videos of any st games I get on my Steam account from time to time, so. Uh, but yeah, Klaus is, is a way, uh, uh, has graciously allowed me to join him for this part of the game, uh, this game, and I should also make this clear right off the bat. I've never played this game before, and I've never seen it before, so I'm pretty much flying blind. <laughs> yeah, his his channel will be in the description. Check it out if you haven't already. Also subscribe if you also subscribe that if you go to his channel, check out his stuff. It's pretty cool. Bless you, man. Anyway, what is Master Flesh? Why, it's flesh you can only get from those great hulking beasts known as masters. <laughs> I like how he described the master, that like, great hulking beast. Well, at least it's not the master from Doctor Who. Man, that guy's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep in mind I have not seen Doctor oh, Who. Well, okay. Is Master Flesh the cure? This is pretty stupid. I'm just why I'm doing it. Is going to have to eat 12 hunks of master flesh. I feel like I've like heard that. This Sorry, I, I hate to talk over you, but I feel like I've heard that voice before. But and if he does eat 12 pieces of master flesh, then the curse will be lifted. By the way, um, Aaron is actually silent for the most part, but I swear he sounds like an older Shulk. Hmm. Maybe it's the same That's voice actor. The size of it. See if you want to help Elena. Bring her that master flesh. Uh, Aaron and Shulk technically have different voice oh, actors. Okay. I'll flash up on screen who's voice acting. Oh, okay, who. cool. It's just I, I was just I was just making a silly I'm suggestion. Sure I told you this already. Servant flesh only holds the curse for a short time. As we've already seen. After that, she will become a beast once more. Hmm. Well, technically, last time she didn't even transform into a beast, not even a little bit. Well, I wouldn't know. <laughs> to stop Elena becoming a monster, we're going to have to try to lift the curse. To do that, you'll have to bring her flesh from all twelve of the masters. Is it like your hobby to repeat towers. things over and over and over, Moth? Yeah, I know. I mean, I've heard of exposition and all, but my god, that's crazy. Well, I'll be off now. If you want me, know where I'll be. I'm sure you'll find me around. I won't be going too far. That's where she'll be, like, see that door right there? Okay. The next morning. I don't like mornings. I don't know about you folks, but I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm more of a, um, a night owl myself, but yeah. You know, those, uh, for everyone who's been keeping up, the, those texts we've been got, getting... Oh, sorry, Aaron. <laughs> Let's gather her a bit. Mavta said my curse would be lifted if I ate 12 pieces of Master Flesh. As I said before, chatting with her is important. You can raise the infinity. Oh, that's good. I'm sure the army are going to come here soon. This place did used to be a military outpost. Mavta told me that her people, the Vestra, are nomadic merchants. She said they used to have their own country long ago. I wonder what happened. I'll bet. Maybe we'll get into that later. Yeah, that does sound like something that would be important. After the I mean, I've played enough RPGs to know that certain, when they do casual throwaway stuff like that, it kind of comes, kind of no comes to be important. Kind of makes sense. Sometimes. Let's have her translate this text. That book you've got is written in ancient Iosian. I should be able to read it. 
Would you like me to translate it for you? I hope it'll be of use to you, Aaron. Egg ball! There we go, our nice boost of up there. Yay, affinity. Now, before I go, to, before I go talk to uh, Mapta over there, I want to go ahead and pick this up. Conquering the curse. Pick, pick. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Beastlech, how does the curse? If the curse is left for too long, the victim will never be human again. Eating all Master Flesh is said to cure the curse. To conquer the curse, you need to stay positive. Because positivity can conquer everything. Yeah, trust me, it can. I know all too well based off of my own personal experiences. Which I'm not going to get into in these videos. This video, but whatever. With Aaron beside me, I won't let it be. Oh, bless her. <laughs> <laughs> Staying strong. That's one thing I like about Lena. As long as, he, yeah, as, long as she's not like Colette from Tales of Symphonia, you know? I mean, I like Colette. I think she's a great character, but there's some things she's done that I'm just like, really? Come on, Colette. Perhaps defeating the master exerts some kind of influence over the other towers. I suppose it kind of makes sense. I mean, it's also, it's, I guess you can compare it to like who's a rich Yeah, it stands to reason. Have you ever heard tell of the natural laws of Hyos? No, well, we don't worry about that now. All you need to know is that defeating the masters will open the path. Just like every other video game. Convenient enough. <laughs> Okay, this is like what I meant in the last episode, if our flash has an extra purpose. If you choose to um, sell sell enough um, beast life and you get enough in Leots in return, you can get special rewards. That's nice. I believe standard beast flesh gives you 25 Leots. I believe dripping flesh gives you 50. And I believe pulsating flesh gives you a hundred. I mean, I'm not squeamish, but that sounds kind of. I don't know why Mavda just buys off these flesh. Maybe she makes some kind of hash out of it. I don't know. I like a good corn, but you hash from time to time. That's one of my favorite foods. But <laughs> I guess that was it. Okay, this right here the. Adamantia. What it does is boost your attack power in this, I guess, the opposite of I guess. Okay, tactical manual. What that does is just give you a bunch of experience. It's not a guarantee level. That's good. Cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is there's quite a bit of like other gifts that I can get, but I currently want to get this leather belt as it'll expand my, um, Backspace. Makes sense. Yeah. You don't need to give me anything in return. What is this curse? From human to beast. Following the cataclysm, killing ru killing rumors for rife throughout the realm. Few had seen anything with their own eyes, and few can describe the symptoms. Some call it the beast's curse, claiming that eating the flesh of a certain creature would cure it. Just like we heard from Mopta ten thousand times. The strictness imposed by the ray of Ios was against the consumption of meat means even suggesting it is strictly forbidden. This demands immediate investigation. Skepticism! Indeed. What do you mean it's not symbolic? <laughs> also, I don't know if it's just me, but that thing on Maeda's back is kind of creepy. Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, just Kinda of reminds me of the Grim Reaper in one of the Castlevania games for some reason. I'm not playing many Castlevania games. Well, uh, I'm think talking about the 3D ones really, but yeah. Okay. Elena. Here you go. Shall I put this strap onto your bag for you, Aaron? It looks like a really tough one. I don't think it could break, no matter how heavy your bag is. 
Alright, there we go. Yay. We can now carry 40 items as opposed to 30, which is really nice. It does sound convenient. Also, like, if you rest here, not only can you restore your health, but it also, that also all the time. Hmm. That's a nice one. Alright, now, right, now that we're done here, right. now we're gonna get nourished. Please, promise me you'll be careful. Talking to you, that's the first thing we did. <laughs> um, okay, that was weird. Where he just kind of stuck his hand out, like back out, like that. <laughs> I agree. It's like I had, I had a, a similar reaction when I first saw that. Like, um, okay, I got nothing. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the next tower, the Teardrop Spire. Oh, jeez. That's a name to run away from really fast. Haha. <laughs> uh, it just seems more weird than that. Oh, sheer drop, you know, I mean, it's just, that sounds ominous. I know what you're saying, like, I know what you're saying, like, drop from a high yeah. distance. But, yeah. <laughs> and so, if, uh, if you couldn't hear that, that was me just making the sound of something falling to the ground, basically, folks. Sorry. Yeah, from a high... Yeah, height. like in those old Wiley Coyote cartoons. God, I really want to rewatch those again. They hold up so well. Yeah, those are some really great cartoons, actually. Anyway, as you notice here, this is... the God of Earth. Whereas, whereas last tower was the element of wood. And yes, wood in and of itself is an element. Hmm. Dumbass. Dryad berry. Oh boy. Yeah, that's especially useful for like mixing medicines. Hi. Yeah, this is one of the stores you can't do anything about yet. And there's no way you can attain the key. Oh. Oh, lovely. It's one of those rooms where you have to defeat an enemy to open the door. Just like in every other most game of this, you'll probably wait your dollars to donuts. Yeah, this is pretty much um, this more ogres here, but this is what I like doing right here. Get the sword, and... Slice them up. You want to swing it. You want to swing it around. Wow. Oh. Spin, None spin, of these ogres spin, can even spin, approach spin. you. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that. Yeah, it comes in handy, I wager. Yeah, it's like the funnest tactic ever. As steep as it is, as steep as it is. Hey, this right here explains to us the um, um, list. What you gotta do is you wanna latch onto it with your chain and latch onto the chain and pull the lever. And for those who don't, as long as you keep the, for those who don't speak as uh, as British keep... English, lift is basically their term for elevator. Just in case you're wondering. Yeah, pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty much. Lift elevator. Yep. Okay. I'm just explaining it just in case people don't know, because I know some British colloquialisms from talking to some friends in Skype who live in that area. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, this is the gist of the um, drop spire. You have these ores stuck in the wall here, which you can use to traverse using the um, reckless cave. Mm. So it's so it's almost like a grappling point in like Metroid or something. Or if, or like you can like compare it to the uh, the claw shot or the hook shot, the long shot, where you go. And thanks for giving us a text explaining to us after uh, we went through this and like we had to figure it out for ourselves. Yeah, that's kind of bad text placement. Yeah. Well, oh well. 
Like, it would it'd be helpful to like, explain this as this stuff actually comes about. Yeah, I'm right there with you on that. That does sound like it's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, this right here is a tiger. Yes, it's actually a tiger. Mimes and tigers and bears, oh my. <laughs> yeah, these guys right here. Uh, hey, these things right here, you especially want to be hunting these guys, like, for, like, like after you, like, <laughs> after, like, you beat, like, the master, because that's when I'm going to be getting the uh, rewards of the tower. Yeah, take your time. Although, I will admit, the design of them almost remind me of those terror dog things from Ghostbusters. <laughs> at least, at least wow, to me, they I, do. I can't speak for anyone else, but... Actually, speaking of Ghostbusters, um, I kind of dislike the, um, the whole newer Ghostbusters thing. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, ca gonna, I'm cautiously I'm, optimistic about it, about it, but I, I do yeah, see where you're coming I'm from. Gonna be making, yeah, I'm, ga I'm gonna be making an another, another video on this, but this, that video is ripe with the correctness, and if you don't like it, you're somehow sexist. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with an all-female Ghostbusters team, as long as the story is good, really. That's my feeling on it, so... Exactly, and if they can match the quality of the series of those pressers, too. Uh, and the, I mean, the second movie was pretty... I'm one of the few who thinks the second movie wasn't that bad, but... Yeah, yeah but it, 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 it wasn't really good. But Although I, I will say the video game, I will else. say this: the video game was def that came out in 2009 was very much as close as we're going to get to an actual Ghostbusters 3 with the original cast. And I, if you guys haven't played it, you should. And also, uh, I like to self plug again, but I have actually done a let's play of the Steam version of the of the of the video game on my channel. So if you want to check that out, go ahead because that was kind of a spur of the moment decision to do that when that was uh, around the time I decided to do that game, because I'd been playing it so much on Steam, and I just loved it, so I figured, what the hell, I'll, I'll do that. I don't I don't do that very often when it comes to LPs. Usually I just kind of, I've already got several games in my mind that I want to LP, but that one was just, I was like, you know what, I gotta do this game. <laughs> Alright, so this right here, as you notice, there's no golden ore on the wall, and there's another wall like right there I, I just found um, by a moment ago. I've not actually taken the time to go down to go up that wall, so I want to just drag this ore all the way here, all, all the way to that, uh, all the way to that soft block. Here. And do you just chuck it on it and it sticks to it? Yeah, just chuck it. Up. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. You're basically being a chuckster. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, hello, diamond. And all this historical material. Yay! Actually, that came from here. Well, if it's anything like Minecraft, diamonds are pretty resilient, so. Yeah, I guess, but it's, the, it's just like material for like uh, refining stuff. Fair enough. And as long as you have the right, the right materials, you can like, make your weapon stronger. Hmm. And just grapple here, here. <laughs> hey, now have <laughs> you? Whoa, we got a couple of bats. This, I'm just gonna go and slam on the wall. Slam the wall multiple times. That's kind of thing. Smack. Much when I smack. Thank you for 77 Leon. Oh, money, nice. You need to get like, like um, you can either get like bodily fluids or like these things. What do what do bodily them. fluids? And do? later on, you can actually get these. What do bodily fluids do exactly? It's just another it's just another resource used to do stuff. Don't give it to Elena, otherwise her affinity will. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. That makes sense. That's kind of why it's a bad idea. There is quite a few items like that. I believe these things is one of them. So yeah, the the whole point of these like hours like you want to follow these things. Hmm. That's that's nice. Hmm. Oh, it's like the, the amethyst. Thing. Yeah, nice purple color. Yeah, that probably Definitely. Okay, fine. Uh, Drop out of reach. That that works. Yep. That works. That works plenty. Thank Definitely. You. Just trying to kill that damn thing, but all right. 
Well, I think you kind of did, but at least I thought you did. <laughs> no. And those are raging at me, so I'm just going to say... Run away! And there's that sealed door that we see, well, roughly when we came in. You know, just because you're attacked, I don't think that... The, are you really not going to attack me while I'm opening this door? I'm surprised they're not, honestly. I'll take it. I'm not blaming. Seems legit. <laughs> like, right, like, take a $1 bill and use permanent marker on it. Yeah, that's a legit $100 bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, it, there's that whole hoopla going on around the about the fact that they're replacing uh, Andrew Jackson with uh, Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill now. I've seen that article online. Like, I, I felt that was nonsense. Like, how is that equality? Like, seriously, how is that fight for equality? I don't get it. I don't know. I, th I don't know, but it's just... It's, some of the things people were saying about it were kind of rude, I thought. Well, more than rude, but still. I hope all is well with Elena. Now we check on Elena back at the observatory. Of course he is. He is as tough as they come. <laughs> like how quickly she refer she um reassures herself on that. Yeah. Well, you know, I can't say he, I blame her really. Lane is oh, shard affinity. Ooh. That is really good. That works you back to the observatory immediately. Nice. Say like you have your it's the uh, first gauge like close to max up, maxed out. Like you need to get back to the observatory to give her a piece of these flesh. You do that. I am assuming. I'm assuming that's like uh, like a very rare item you can get, judging by your reaction to getting it. Yeah, it's not a very common okay, item. Cool. Strange grains. Okay. Yeah, it's like I don't know. It's, I, 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 I like to think of that. I like to think of that as like uh, either just rice that are just strangely shaped, like strange color, but still healthy. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I might just work weird. That's fine. Yeah, actually, um. We got a fair amount done, so I think we're actually gonna call us crits right here. Right? Sounds good to me. So, join us next time where we tackle the rest of Pure Drops Fire. And uh, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. Time. You know, I mean, it seems like a pretty interesting game. So, I, I, maybe sometime if I get a Wii or a Wii U or something like that, I'll give it a try myself if I find a copy. Yeah, oh, the only reason I did tree drop um, at Tree Top Tower in one go was because it only had like one chain. Yeah. So I just want to stop that. Fair enough. Alright. So long, everyone. Once again, his channel will be in the description, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.